name is Bob, and I love my two-car garage. doing a special episode here today on what to do with all the cool stuff you get at Christmas time. You know, whenever you're into something, people are always giving you presents. M my daughter, she just got a cat, and so we got her all kinds of cat stuff. Now, uh, I'm into woodworking, obviously, so I got all kinds of woodworking stuff. And sometimes it's kind of cool, and sometimes you're not really sure what to do with it. Uh, for the most part, I found that I'm pleasantly surprised but I have to figure out how to use it so here's what I got this year for Christmas the glue bot hmm the zero clearance tape interesting and this one right here this is the 10 million dollar stick from fast cap how about that Slap your mama. <laughs> Great. I'm going to use that one, but not on the show. Oh, one more thing. The 11th finger. Well, that's cool. I can tell that that is a push stick. It's got a magnet on it, so that could be cool. Yeah, and that's it. All right, let's build something. See how all this works. Now, I like the way this push stick works. Cool that it stands up and it grabs pretty well. I give it an eight. All right, I think I just found an opportunity to use my zero clearance tape, which I've kind of been looking forward to. It says, surface must be clean and free of solvents and cleaners. To maximize adhesion, roll on with a speed roller. And cures and gets stronger with time. And when, when using with wood light coats of stain and finish I'm not sure what that means but let's give it a try all right follow directions clean the surface and it's peel and stick Gonna lay it right down there over the groove. I like this because I think what it's going to do is going to prevent tearing out on the back side. And it's also going to let me see exactly where my cut's going to be. So I think I really like this little gadget. It says to roll it out. So that's what I'm going to do. Roll it out, a little roller, and then cut it off a bit. Hmm, doesn't seem like it's sticking real well. Well, supposedly adhesion is supposed to get better with time. We shall see. Alright, my first cut with my new little gadget, 25 and a quarter. I'm going to mark it down on this edge so I can see exactly where it's going to fall on my zero clearance tape by Fast Cap. And um, there's my mark. Let's see if Fast Cap has a good idea here. Look at that, I can line it right up. So I know exactly where my cut's going to be. Yeah, that's a little bit short, but pretty darn close. 
All right, zero clearance tape by Fast Cap. I think it's a keeper. I give it a nine. All right, first opportunity to use the glue bot. I'm looking forward to it. Ooh, lays it down nice and straight. That's kind of cool. Not sure I like the shape of the bead, but just keep it nice and neat. Well, we're going to wrap this up. And uh, so, the glue bot. I like it. I really like it because you can squeeze it this way and it comes out the top. But it wears out just like any other glue bottle, so um, don't really know that it's worth it because you're going to have to refill it all the time and replace it. So it's a cool design, but I don't know if it's worth uh, refilling and buying over and over again. So glue bot, eh, it's okay. The um, zero clearance tape, again, like I said, this one's a keeper. This works really well. So good Christmas gift. Thank you, my son, for buying that for me. This little guy right here is uh, pretty cool, too. I really like the way it stands up uh, by itself. It's got some really high-powered magnets down here. So um, great push stick, great shape. Um, that one's a keeper. And um, this little guy right here, I didn't demonstrate because I never used it. And I don't think it's that great. It's a $10 million stick and uh, makes a great back scratcher. But um, I never used it. So there are better ways to protect your fingers. So, eh, I give it a one. Anyhow, Christmas gadgets. Lots of cool stuff you can buy for your woodworking friends and relatives. Bob's Two Car Garage would not be complete without a word for the day. And the word is this. This Sunday, go to church. It's good for you. Could change your life.